This tutorial is for the responsive declaration to request for order. You will need to fill this out if you have been served with a request for order to modify support or custody and visitation. You'll start by filling in your name, your street address, city, state, and zip code. You don't really need to fill in telephone number and email address, but it does make it easier for the clerks to notify you in case there's an issue. If you're filing this in Siskiyou County, then type in Siskiyou, the address is 3114 Street, Wairika 96097, branch name is family, civil. Okay, so the petitioner stays the same um, for the whole case. So that means that the petitioner is the person who filed the case in the first place. And the respondent is the person who responded in the first place. So even if um, you are the petitioner, but you are filing this response, your name still goes in the petitioner box and the other party's name goes in the respondent box. The papers you received um, for this should already have a hearing date. So hearing date goes here, the time, um, don't worry about the department or room, but um, write in your case number. Okay. It'll start with SC something and end with um, uh, two numbers for the year and a dash and then the numbers for the actual case number. And it's in the same place on all of the forms that are filed in this case. This form is used to respond to several different types of requests, and they are all numbered um, starting here with restraining order. So um, you have to look at what the other party is asking for and then determine what you need to fill out. If there's nothing mentioning a restraining order on the other party's papers, then don't worry about number one. On number two, if the other party is seeking to change custody or visitation, then you'll have to mark the appropriate boxes right here on number two. Sometimes if it's only a change of visitation, then you just need to mark the visitation box. You then have a few choices. You can either agree to the order requested for custody, if this is a custody case, or you can agree to the order the other party requests for visitation. If you do not agree to custody or visitation, then you can mark box C that says, I do not consent or agree to the requested order for either custody or visitation or both. <clears throat> this also gives you the opportunity to explain what order you would agree to. For example, if the other party wants to have every weekend, but you would agree to every other weekend, then right here, you would just write in, I agree to have every other weekend visitation. That's just an example. Make sure that what you write fits your case. The same is true under paragraph three for the child support portion. You can agree to the order requested. You can agree to the guideline support amount, which is what the court will order, or you can not agree to either of those and submit your own proposal. Again, the same is true for the spousal or domestic partner support. Um, you can agree to what's requested or you can make your own suggestion. Um, I will also note that if 
the issue is child support or spousal support, you will need to file the form FL-150, which is the income and expense declaration. You can search for it online. You can also go to the Siskiyou County Superior Court website and under the tab for self-help, there should be a link to it. Okay, so let's skip down to number five, property control. Again, um, if there is a request for property control, then your choices are to agree to it or to submit your own proposal. Um, same with attorney fees, same with domestic violence orders. You can either agree or um, submit your own proposal. I think the, the most important part on here uh, is paragraph 10 where you will type in or write in, it's fine if you print this out and write it in. So when it gets down to it, um, you'll have to explain your facts to support why you want um, what you've asked for. For example, if you've asked for every other weekend visitation, then you'll have to write in why it is that every other weekend visitation would be best for your child or children. If you've asked for a change or proposed a different amount for child support or spousal support, you'll have to explain why it is that you want what you want. If you run out of space in this little box, uh, mark here where it says attachment 10 and uh, attach a piece of paper that is labeled attachment 10 and uh, continue on. Then put in the date that you sign the paper, um, print your name and then sign it and then that form is done.